In this sketchbook activity, I will need a couple different supplies to get started. First thing I'm going to need is a white sheet of paper like I have here. I can work out of my sketchbook or I can use a white sheet like I have if I don't have my sketchbook with me. I also need a pencil of some sort. This is a just a normal yellow pencil. This is not ebony. I can use an ebony if I want or a drawing pencil. Just do not use a pen. I'm also going to need to get a bottle of some sort. I tried to find a bottle that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's got this rounded kind of shape in here, and then as it kind of goes up, the column gets narrower, really straight, um, so it has an interesting shape. Try to find something you think is an interesting bottle, not something that's boring. It can be clear glass, it can be plastic, it can be transparent, translucent, or opaque. Completely up to you. I'm going to start by drawing this bottle on my page right here. Um, with that being said, I can draw it whatever size I want, it's kind of up to me as far as that process goes. First thing I'm going to do is draw this bottle, render it lightly with gesture drawing, and then um, I will show the next steps after that. Now that I've rendered this bottle, as you can see, let's hold it next so you can kind of see it, um, it looks about the same kind of shape. Um, having done that, I'm now going to draw a secondary bottle, which is going to be this bottle. Um, I tried to, f to find another bottle that's either a different size, different shape, something like that that's going to make it offset. I can draw some of these logos and things of that nature as I so choose as well. Okay, a couple things I just want to point out on my sketch that I've done so far, and things that you can do as well. Um, you'll notice that this bottle is in front of this bottle. I know that because there's only there's not only overlap here, but it's also lower on the picture plane. Okay, um, if I had this bottle being overlapped behind this one but lower, it would not look quite right. So the items that are closer to you should be further down on the page. Also, I can make items go off of the page if I so choose, but I need to have. Um, bottles that are for the most part on this page. Um, some examples of what that looked like include the following. Here's a different one that I did and you can see in this one I did a similar bottle and I started doing a different shape bottle. Really unique, it's further back on the picture plane um, which shows me that it's not at the same height on the table or surface that it's on. Another example of what that looks like is something like this one. Um, I chose in this case some bottles that uh, my son um, used when he was really very young as a baby and these are really unique bottles they all have different kinds of shapes to them you can see I'm really trying to pull in some of the interesting details that make it more interesting once I've done two and then I'm gonna do three like I show here the goal is to get a total of five bottles like you see in this depiction so by the end I should have five separate bottles another thing that I did was not only did I render them I also went over these with ebony as you can see I did some of the really interesting details to make them look like uh, the bottles that they should be. Some are bottles that are opaque like this glue bottle. Some of these are vases and things that are clear. You'll notice though that they should look like if they are further back in space they're higher on the picture plane of my page.